Daniel here with a brand new episode of The Curious Expedition. Continuing forward on to number, Expedition number three, we have 750 fame. I believe we were still in the lead last time I checked. Uh, now we have a couple of options. We can go to the Guajaja jungle, uh, the demanding drylands, or another the rich drylands. I'm going to stick with the jungle because the drylands are absolutely awful. I'm pretty sure you need to actually stock up on water the entire time, which takes up some inventory slots. Um, the Guajaja jungle might be a little bit easier. Hmm. You know, screw it. Let's go to a dryland. We haven't done that yet. They are really brutally hard, but let's go to the rich drylands. Actually, this one has a little water symbol at the bottom. Maybe down there on the on the left, if you can see that little hex with the water, maybe that means it'll be a bit easier to stock up on water at some point. So let's go here. So we lost Conrad's decoration. After a good night's rest, I made my way to the docks. The captain had yet to arrive, so I imagined I lay what lay beyond the horizon. We were approached by the soldier that had tasked us to, fi tasked us to find Conrad the deserter. Upon hearing that we had resorted to killing him, he assured us that we had acted correctly and rewarded us on our efforts. Paying that reward. So we got 70 funds. 70 bucks for killing a guy. <laughs> it's not that great. I obtained new funds as remuneration for our efforts. An old hunter approached me with a request. He had heard about my trek and told me a story about an evil hyena called Snarfrattle. He despised the creature with all his heart and wished proof of its death. Worthwhile purse would, be, would await me if I hunted down the creature and returned its pelt. We'll accept that. Kill Snarfrattle. Uh, I not, he nodded gratefully and was just luck on our hunt. I was delighted witness tales of my previous expedition had attracted quite some attention many new recruits showed up enterprising enough to sign up to my cause who did i want to recruit an old sailor uh a missionary or a soldier you know the soldier is probably the smartest but he looks like another alcoholic mm, the sailor is an alcoholic as well what's that even mean alcoholic and what's this mean he just is a whiskey expert. So this guy's an alcoholic. The sailor is the ex alcoholic. And the soldier just really loves his whiskey. Hmm. So Scottish soldier, a sailor, or a missionary. It's a tough choice, but I'm going to go with the old alcoholic sailor. You can always get rid of him someday. We used the experienced seaman like Oliver Cod. We welcomed him to our party. I rejoiced as the ship was primed to set sail. Let's purchase some equipment. Does this give us anything? No, we still can't sell this piece of shit. A uh, treasure pendulum. A small sunflower with the initials TT engraved on its back. I don't know what that does. Hmm. Doesn't consume weight capacity. Do we really need that though? We need a couple first aid kits. How much is that even? It's not that much. Hmm. Yeah, we need first aid kits because that's, that's a definite. And you know what? Bullets are really useful as well. Let's steal that. Let's go with that. Just in time, the ship was prepared to leave the harbor. Set sail. So number three. I wonder what's going to be here. We're going into a dry lens this time. I'm a little bit worried about that. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to need to stock up on water or what, but we'll do it just in case we need to. So we're just landing here now. Our hundred sanity and our journal is opening up. The open seas were glorious to sail upon, and I was somewhat sad to see the shoreline rose in the morning mist. I was curious to discover what adventures were waiting for us here. So let's just refill water just in case. We can always throw it out, and then we'll begin the expedition. Now this thing was useless. Uh, this will improve the loyalty of somebody if I gift it to them. So I'm going to give it to... Hmm. I'm gonna give it to our first soldier because he's our, our, you know, our strongest fighter, and I don't want to lose him. As a small ceremony, I presented the trinket to Private Charles Lawrence. Afterward, he hugged me as I emphasized the importance of his contribution to this expedition. He smiled and nodded quietly, in appreciation of my actions. So he was very happy with that. Maybe even had a drink. Hmm. So let's take a travel out here to our very first spot. We only oh shit, we needed more machetes but we just had the one so we kind of we needed a few more so there's an old shrine here for a second i thought that might be the golden pyramid already so we stood before the te a temple that comprised of huge stones its stone walls were covered with ornate grave engravings low-hanging vines partially concealed the entrance that led within a thick layer of sand seemed to surround the structure uh oh we found a sacred altar room. It was truly awe-inspiring sight. We found a stolen altar that was covered in ancient writing. So we're going to take all this shit. Take it. 
and it's going to be a bad thing. 9 is 3 standing. I would not leave empty handed. The treasure was to be mine. We took whatever we could and proceeded outside. The whole area around us began to wither and die. A drastic climate shift ravaged this region, and we were responsible. We have enough to promote this guy. No, we don't. Hmm. So, who knows? It's Our compass is pointing somewhere this-ish direction. So we're really not, we're, we have no idea where we're going right now. Um, let's explore this. It's an old shipwreck out in the middle of the wilderness. Today we made a fantastic discovery before us laid a mysterious, almost completely destroyed shipwreck. It remained a mystery to me as how it could have ended up in this place. It seemed to be stranded here for a long time. I tried to make out the name Fancy. Searched the area. I was certain there were riches to be found here. We formed small teams and scoured the place. So we got some we got some stuff out of it. Pretty cool. As we left, we became aware that our presence had attracted ferocious wildlife. Oh great, so there's a, a hiney here. And I think that's that's our quest spot up here. Damn, that's far. That's really far. We need some chocolate and get some sanity back. Mmm, he likes chocolate, I guess. He has a weird chocolate thing. Let's avoid this hyena if possible. GTFO here. This climate is still just shitting all over us. And we have been drinking some water, so that's definitely a thing. So we arrived at a rock overhang. It would serve as a basic shelter against the elements. Perfect, so we can have a quick rest here. That's pretty cool looking artwork. I wonder what mysteries this place holds. Looks like some little uh, glyphs drawn into the rock there. Pretty cool artwork. So let's rest overnight. We're on day 22 already. So we learned this guy's a pyromaniac, I guess. We decided it would be a good idea to stay here and recuperate. Exhaustion was our nemesis. We barely managed to collect enough wood and campfire. But we started the campfire. All of our cods stated that these lands deserve to be baptized through flame. That's unsure what he meant by that. And he was unwilling to elaborate. So he wants to burn the area down. Because he is insane. Damn, so we rested here for five days. After resting... After days of rest, we were prepared to head out again. The overhang had proven to be the perfect camping spot. So let's leave. We did waste a lot of time here. We got to make up for that and keep traveling. Ooh, so we've got a long ways to go. Maybe we could... No, we're, we're doing okay on water. There's going to be more. Loyalty decreased. Oh, man, this guy... What did I do, buddy? I don't know how to how to make it up to you. Okay, so there's the golden pyramid. We don't want to... I don't think we want to go in there quite yet. So, I'm going to come up here and try to make it as far as that village that we saw. Uh, up to the north a little bit. You know, these people are way behind. We should still be able to make it in first. Are we going to be able to make it there, though? We need more sanity. We definitely need more sanity. So, we'll be able to make it just barely now. Hopefully we'll be able to do some kind of rest once we get there. And this elephant maybe is going to kill us. Ah, oh, fuck. There's a goddamn elephant right there. And there's a fucking ape over here. So this evening we reached a village. We encountered a tribe that were apparently well-armed. Formidable warriors. The natives were suspicious of our arrival. It seemed wise to put them at ease with some gifts. Hmm. What does this do? Signal at sea. It can be helpful re for revealing areas. It's pretty useful. And a piece of dynamite, that should keep them quite happy. Um, they don't really take anything for water. They love that. But so would I. We kind of risked a lot to get that. But we do need some sanity brought back up. So let's, let's do that. That's a good deal. They accepted our offerings and welcomed us wholeheartedly. The villagers have been waiting, awaiting us. They already seemed aware of us. They are cautious, but politely offered their help, perhaps to see us leave sooner. I recognized the language of these people and was soon able to communicate, so let's rest in the village. As darkness fell, the natives lit a campfire and invited us to sit with them. A native approached me with an offer. He told me that he knew of a location far from here which would be worthwhile for our next expedition. However, he demanded payment for this information. Let's refuse the offer. I politely refused his offer. Uh, we had more than enough locations that could be visited on our next trip. So we slept, we gained 50 sanity for one day. I got a splendid day's rest. The next morning, I woke to the sound of the village already bustling with activity. While we sat, while we still felt welcome, 
we could tell that the villagers had become disturbed by her presence, so we have kind of worn out her welcome a little bit. So let's just leave. Let's GTFO. Eat these mangoes. Mm. Let's see, is this the thing we have to kill? Because we have to kill Snellfrattle, a hyena, so it's not the hat. Uh, why did it send us all the way up here then? I guess that that was just me being an idiot. So we don't want to go that way. We don't want to waste all that time. Um, I guess it's down here. We can use a piece of dynamite to blow up that mountain though. And get through it a little bit quicker hopefully. See if this is uh, what the hell this is. If this is what we have there. Yeah, there we go. Exploding mountains. What's here? What's at this little pond? Explore the canote? A long forgotten pathway led to a small patch of grass by the water. It was truly an abyss, for we could not catch a glimpse of the bottom. Look into the well at night. Everyone settled down and waited until the night was pitch black. All of a sudden, another worldly apparition appeared. Hovering over the water, we were told about a hidden region that was said to hold host a seldom seen breed of white tigers. We made sure to indicate the location for our next expedition. After this miraculous occurrence, the otherworldly spirit disappeared before our very eyes. After a rather uncomfortable night, we were ready to leave and head out again. So we're going to follow the advice of a ghost, I, I guess? Hmm. That's kind of weird. So new travel location was unlocked. I guess maybe that's just the place that uh, that other guy was going to tell us about. But he didn't. We're going to run out of sanity getting there. Just barely, but you know what? Screw it. Let's just go for it. We're not even going to go after the hyena at this point. Because we will go nuts and kill somebody. I'm sorry. That's the first quest that we failed. But our sanity meter's out. We don't have anything to replenish it at this point. I wish we got to kill a couple things or bring a little bit more home, but we did what we could. The golden pyramid loomed above one and all. Thank the maker. Enter the pyramid. After all this hardship, before you came over me, I knew that the name Richard Francis Burton would not be forgotten to the Explorers Club. So let's see what we got. We had our current fame of 750. The Golden Pyramid gave us another 140. Speed bonus of being first gave us the 200. And our new fame is 1090. So let's finish that expedition. Nice triumph. Thank you. And we've got... Uh, Three medals. Protector receives an additional defense dice. Ooh. Climber reduce move cost when crossing hills or heavy carrier. Two additional inventory slots. Fuck yeah, we're taking that. I was gonna go with the dice, but that is way too good of an opportunity to pass up. Two carry slots. That's just so much more treasure. That's gonna help us get to the lead. So we're almost caught up, and now we still have gifts to give. We can sell this, or we can gift it. Let's gift this one just to put ourselves in the lead. You know, this is actually. Mm, you know, we got enough. We got enough money. We got enough gear, I think. I th Maybe we don't. I think we do. I think we'll be okay. So let's continue. Actually, you know what? That's that's going to be it for this episode. We're going to do on our, our next expedition. I want to check out the one that we were told about, but I'm not sure which, which one that was. The, uh, the ghost told us that we could go to. The one that we unlocked. Maybe that was the Black Desert. I don't know. These all seem pretty cool. But this is all going to have to wait until next episode. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like, comment, or subscribe to my channel. Any kind of support like that helps me out immensely. Again, thank you guys so much. Until next time.